So one of the questions that I get all the time is like, hey, I just bought my first BMW. What are some easy beginner modifications that you would recommend for a first time BMW owner? So I picked out a few things that I think that anybody can do regardless of your skill level. Now, of course, if you just bought one of these cars used, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get all the maintenance up to date, oil changes, filters, things like that. Now I've got a really good video on basic F30 maintenance that I'll link below if you wanna check that out. But that's what this video is gonna be, easy modifications that anybody can do. Carbon fiber lip spoilers like these are easily one of the most popular BMW modifications and they're so simple to install. You don't even really need any tools. It just sticks on with double-sided tape like this. So all you do is you clean off your trunk with some rubbing alcohol, make sure you get it nice and clean, get any oils that might be on there, and then you're gonna apply the double-sided tape to the underside of the spoiler. I recommend the Gorilla brand, which you can buy pretty much any hardware store. I'll link it below if I can remember. Um, but yeah, you're just gonna stick it on there and you're good to go. Now the one that I have is the Keys Car Carbon brand by Keith Motorsports and the fitment is just perfect all the way around. With some of these spoilers, sometimes you'll get like little gaps in some places, which I don't really like, but this one, the Keith Motorsports one, the fitment was just perfect and this could easily be your first BMW modification. So going right along with the carbon fiber theme, we have these carbon fiber antenna caps. Same concept as the spoiler, it just sticks on with double-sided tape. Uh, these are actually even easier to install because you don't have to line anything up, it only fits on one way. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this as a first modification. Anyone can do this. And I love how the black contrast with the white car kind of gives it that Stormtrooper look, which I love. So if carbon fiber lip spoilers are the most popular BMW modification, then the gloss black kidney grills are easily a close second. Unfortunately, a lot of these cars are come from the factory with the chrome ones, which doesn't exactly scream performance to me. I mean, you might as well throw some white wall tires on the car while you're at it. But luckily, if your car did come with the chrome ones, they're super easy to swap out. And back in the day when I had my E90, that was like the first modification that I did. So on the F30s, um, they just clip in from the back side so you can just take the couple screws off the top of the bumper, pull the bumper out, and you can reach your arm back there, undo the clips, and then just clip your new one in. This whole process should take less than five minutes. Suspension upgrades can get expensive and often require specialty tools to install, but a strut tower brace like this is a really good way to sharpen up the car's steering and it's surprisingly affordable and really easy to put in. So on the F30s, you're going to remove three of the 13 millimeter bolts on either side of the strut tower. You're going to put the brace on, put the bolts right back in. This whole project should take about 10 minutes using tools that you likely already have. So if you bought an F30, you're kind of disappointed with the lackluster steering feel. This is an awesome, good bang for buck first modification. So anytime I show interior shots of the car or shots of me driving, I get a bunch of comments asking what phone mount that I use. So this is the Renline. It's a magnetic phone mount, which I really like. It doesn't um, block the air vents. It doesn't block your view of the road, just magnets on there. So the way that this works, these are vehicle specific. They have these for a bunch of BMW models. I think all the three series from like E46 onward, um, there's a bracket that goes behind your radio, just a few screws to take out there. And then there's a self-adhesive steel plate that goes on the back of your phone. Now, just a pro tip with this, I put the plate really low on the phone. That way, when I put it on there, the phone sits higher up in the car, so I'm not having to look down at it. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I live in Michigan. The roads aren't so great here, and so far, this thing hasn't fallen off yet, so uh, that's good. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm a sucker for interior modifications and on both the F30 and on my E90, I upgraded the shift knobs to the M Performance versions. On the E90, I had the six-speed manual, of course, this time I have the automatic, and both of them are super easy to swap out. In fact, on the E90, you don't even need any tools at all, it just pops off. On this one, it's just a Torx screwdriver and a pick tool. In about five minutes of your time, you can swap that out. Um, not the cheapest modification, because these are genuine BMW parts, so you're paying a little bit more for them. Um, but as far as the quality, when it comes to stuff in your interior that you're touching and feeling and looking at all the time, you want the stuff to fit right, you want it to feel right. So I highly recommend this. If you're looking for something that you can do to upgrade your interior that's not really complicated to install, a shift knob either for the manual or the automatic is a great choice. Okay. 
So a little over a week ago, I got hurt pretty bad skateboarding. It's actually kind of embarrassing because the obstacle was so small, but I was trying to do a crooked grind on this really low rail, kind of overshot it, my wheel went over the edge, and my body did a barrel roll, and when I hit the ground, the back of my neck stiffened up. Pretty sure I got like mild whiplash from that. It was one of those falls where like, right when I hit the ground, I knew that something wasn't right, and over the next few days, the pain just got worse and worse. It's not like in my head, it's like where my neck and my head attach, and even to this day, this is like over a week ago, I still have some dull pain back there. But uh, I took some time off of filming YouTube videos and I sat down and put a website together, justinbice.com, Justin, B-U-I-C-E. And on there, I have all of my F30 modifications, all of the car cleaning supplies that I like to use. A lot of people have questions about that. And then all the camera gear that I use to make my YouTube videos, all listed out, all very nice and clean. And uh, there's also a merch page that you can check out on there. And my long-term goal with the site is to have written DIYs to accompany the YouTube videos. I know that for some people, when you're actually out in your garage working on your car, sometimes it's nice to just see the stuff written out step by step rather than trying to watch a video and try to like scrub to the part that you need. Sometimes the written instructions are helpful and it'll also help with like um, Google SEO as well. So that's the website, justinbice.com, check it out. And then if you guys enjoyed the video, just give me a thumbs up. Of course, all of the parts that I showed will be listed down below in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. So these carbon fiber lip spoilers are easily one of the- ah! <laughs> up really bad. Really.